welcome to Biology. 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 Hi guys. So, what I am bringing to y'all today is something totally different. Oh, my hair is all messed up. I'm so sorry. Okay. If you have a Google Home and you have not played with it or you don't have children and you don't know certain things, I just came upon something that was just so crazy that my kids just showed me on my Google Home. Well, that is my Google Home that my oldest son gave to me last year for my birthday. So guys, I'm gonna set up the camera and I'm gonna talk to Google Home and I'm gonna show you the craziest thing this thing will tell you and will do. Hey Google, call Santa Claus. Thank you for calling the North Pole. My name is Dimple Sticks. Santa is in the recording studio. Please hold. What? Oh, ho, 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 it's you. I just finished up the nice list. Good job, by the way. And I really need your help with something. It's about the music for the annual Elfstock Festival. It's kind of a big deal around here. Maybe you've seen our flyers? Anyway, we only know one song, but we can't decide how to play it. Dubstep, Santa, dubstep. I've talked to the elves about it. And they have uh, many opinions. Elfin Rock. Yes, well, I happen to know that you are a nice list kind of person who makes excellent choices. So, what do you say? Do you want to help me out? Yes. So, I have a few questions for you. Which makes better drum beats? A computer? Or raindrops? A computer. It's like coding, and coding is the future. That's what my elves say, anyway. Try this one. What's your favorite thing up in the sky? The sun or the moon? The sun. Oh, it's brilliant. We see a lot of it here in the North Pole during June. <laughs> That's a science fact. Okay. I just have one more question. Is it fun to hear loud, crashing sounds like in a thunderstorm? Yes or no? Yes. Oh, oh, sure. Storms are exciting, especially when I'm way up high in my sleigh. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. I think you did it. Now I know the way to play the song. Lou Yule! Lou Yule in the house! Call in the crew, and we'll reform the Sugar Plum Gang! Kick it! Ho ho! Jiggle! Bells! Where are Bells. My elves all dance and play! I'm packing the sack. and sneaking! Out back! Leave a kiss to make the day! Ho! Microphone! Check! Microphone! Check! We're tossing rides! Your way! Put your stocking out, cause I'm rocking out when I slide down your chimney! Hey! Ho ho! Gosh, Lil Yule, those were some tight beats. Like the bow on a press. Thanks to our friend on the phone for keeping it real. Your call was like a plate of freshly baked creativity with hot cocoa and marshmallows yes. and candied walnuts. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm getting pretty hungry. Yeah, but do you want to keep going? No. Ho, ho, ho. All right. But I love talking to you. Call me again anytime. Thank you for calling Santa's workshop. Happy holidays. Goodbye. Hey, Google. Call the leprechaun. I can't seem to get through. Seems the cell service is pretty bad at the end of the rainbow. Hey Google, call the Easter Bunny. Actually, the Easter Bunny doesn't have a phone. Its hands are pretty full with colored eggs and chocolate. Hey 
Hey Google, sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to whoever's birthday it is. Happy birthday to you. Hey Google, self-describe. <laughs> okay, self-destructed. Let me know if I can help you with anything else. Hey Google, clean my room. Let me try. Did anything happen? Sorry, I guess I can't. Hey Google, make a sound of a car. This is a car. Okay guys, my oldest son and my baby girl is getting ready to play a game with Google. And the name of it is, are you, lucky? are you what? Lucky. Are you feeling lucky? So let's play. Hey Google, are you feeling lucky? Welcome to Are You Feeling Lucky? I have five trivia questions for you. Some of them are hard. How many are playing this time? Three. Three people playing. Awesome. So, who's player one in this group? Say hello, player one. Hello, player one. Terrific. You did that like a pro. Your game name is Cabana. Now, player two, please say hi. Hi. Terrific. You did that like a pro. Your game name is Nibbler. All right, player three. On the count of three, say howdy. One, two, three. Howdy. Howdy. Great response. I'm going to call you freestyle. Okay, here are your names again. So you don't forget. Cabana. Nibbler and freestyle. Question one. The category is literature for 10 points. It used to be legal to copy a book without the author's permission. True or false? Please True. go first, Cabana. True. Okay. Wow. Okay. Let's hear your answer, Nibbler. False. Okay, cool. And now you go freestyle. False. Got it. Checking now. True. Excellent. Authors in antiquity had no rights protecting their intellectual ownership. Once a book, pamphlet, or story had been printed, anyone who wanted to could make and sell copies. Here's the next one. The category is entertainment for 10 points. What was Wednesday Adams' middle name on the TV show, The Adams Family? Friday, evening, or Adam? Let's start with Nibbler. Friday. Great. What's your answer, Freestyle? Friday. I figured you'd say that. Okay. How about you, Cabana? Friday. Great, let me check. Friday, excellent. Her name was based on a line from a nursery rhyme, Wednesday's child is full of woe. Great minds must answer alike, or something. On to the next one. The category is, language, for 15 points. What language do you hear? Es una gran sensación ayudar a un amigo. Portuguese, Spanish, or French. Let's start with freestyle. Spanish. 
I hope you're right. What do you think, Cabana? Repeat. What language do you hear? Es una gran sensación ayudar a un amigo. Portuguese, Spanish, or French? Let's hear your answer, Cabana. Spanish. I see. And what do you think, Nibbler? Spanish. Got it. Spanish, sweet. Spanish is spoken by over 400 million people around the world. Only Chinese has more native speakers. On to the next one. The category is Google search for 15 points. Which lizard is most searched for? Komodo dragon, bearded dragon, or leopard gecko? Let's start with Cabana. Repeat the answers. Komodo dragon, bearded dragon, or leopard gecko? Komodo dragon. Cool. Go ahead, Nibbler. Komodo dragon. Okay, I'll accept that. And what do you think, freestyle? Bearded dragon. Super, let's see. Bearded dragon, great. Bearded dragons get their name from the underside of their throats, which turns black and puffs up if they're stressed or showing aggression. Both male and female dragons have beards. Nice teamwork. I like how you take turns getting it right. Let's move on to our final question. Our final destination is Guestimation Station. You'll need to guess a number, and the closest guess gets the most points. The category is health for 30 points. How many bones are in the adult human body? We'll start with you, Nibbler. 50. Bold answer. What do you think, freestyle? 236. Cool. How about you, Cabana? 365. Got it. 206. At birth, human bodies contain 300 bones. Many of them fuse together as people grow up. Let's divide up the points. Freestyle, you get an impressive 30 points. Nibbler, you get 20 points. Cabana, you get 10 points. Okay, looks I like that's game. Here are the results. In second place, it's Cabana and Nibbler. And in first place, sitting at the top of Majestic Mount Trivia, it's... Freestyle. Okay, I'm going the first time. Well, that was fun. Do you want to play again? Yes. Yes. Great. Are the same people playing? Yes. Yes. Question one. The category is animals for 10 points. The sea star's brain is smaller than its liver. True or false? Please go first, Cabana. True. Interesting. Go for it, Nibbler. True. Okay, I'll accept that. How about you, freestyle? False. Great, let's check. False, good job. Sea stars don't have brains. On to the next one. The category is language for 10 points. What does the German phrase, I only understand the train station mean? I'll be discreet. Time is up or I don't get it. Please go first, Nibbler. Time is up. Really? All right. Now, it's your turn, freestyle. Repeat. What does the German phrase, I only understand the train station, mean? I'll be discreet. Time is up, or I don't get it. Let's hear from freestyle. I'll be discreet. Thanks. That leaves you, Cabana. Repeat. 
what does the German phrase, I only understand the train station, mean? I'll be discreet. Time is up, or I don't get it. Time. Leaves you, Cabana. Time is up. Got it. I don't get it. Sorry about that. This phrase is believed to come from World War I soldiers who used the train to return home from the battlefields. That seemed like a hard one for you. Let's try another one. Let's move on. The category is Google search for 15 points. In which country are drones most searched? Norway, Canada, or Russia? We'll start with you, freestyle. Russia. Okay, thanks. What do you think, Cabana? Norwegian. That answer doesn't work. Maybe try something like first one or second answer. First one. I figured you'd say that. Okay. That leaves you, Nibbler. Canada. It's too cool to play on drums. Let's see. Norway, way to go. Norway is home to the first official test site for water-based drones. It's located on the Trondheim Fjord. Next question. The category is geography for 15 points. What's the largest freshwater lake by volume? Lake Baikal, Lake Victoria, or Lake Superior? Your first, Cabana. Lake Victoria. Bold answer. Now, it's your turn, Nibbler. Repeat. What's the largest freshwater lake by volume? Lake Baikal, Lake Victoria, or Lake Superior? What do you think, Nibbler? Lake Superior. Okay, cool. How about you, freestyle? Lake Superior. <laughs> Okay, thanks. Lake Baikal, too bad. Siberia's Lake Baikal <laughs> contains more than a fifth of the world's oh, supply of fresh water. Let's move on to our final question. Oh, was our final destination is Guesstimation Station. You'll need to guess a number, and the closest guess gets the most points. The category is History, for 30 points. In what year did Canada officially become a country? Your first nibbler. Seventeen eighty seven. Thank you. Give me an answer, freestyle. Eighteen thirty seven. Noted. Go ahead, Cabana. Nineteen eighty. Got it. 1867. The name Canada is believed to be derived from a St. Lawrence Iroquois word for a village. Let's hand out some points. Freestyle, you get an impressive 30 points. Nibbler, you get 20 points. Cabana, you get 10 points. Okay, looks like that's game. Here are the results. In third place, it's Nibbler. In second place, it's Cabana. And in first place, radiant with the light of truth. Whatever. <laughs> Freestyle. Cheater. Well, that was fun. Do you want to play again? No. Let's <laughs> go. Okay, thanks. I'll see you next time on. Are you feeling lucky? Okay, guys. So I know the Google Home have been out now for quite quite some time um for about two and a half three years now but for you that don't know all these extra features are definitely on the google home i mean if you have one play with it it is just so much fun you have games it'll sing to you um the whole nine yards when you can call santa claus through your google home technology 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 so guys I wanted to bring this to you. So if you have a Google Home, hi, 
just get your family, get around and just enjoy it. So I'm going to say bye guys. So please like, subscribe, thumbs up my video, turn on that notification bell. And guys, you know my thing. I hate to leave you, but I got to go. Bye guys.